Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for an unscheduled but much needed Mandem United podcast, which is the podcast dedicated to all things Manchester United. I can already see there's over 40 people in here already in it. So I already know what time it is. Hey, and I hope you lot enjoyed like the new um We Are Live um thumbnail as well that I, that I put up I actually made that just before actually and I've made others for other shows as well we always got upgrade man just because Manchester United aren't upgrading doesn't mean myself and Sarcasm City TV are not upgrading as you can see from the title people Shake Jasim withdraws bid to buy Manchester United so that's what we are here to discuss but before I get into all of that and bring in all the special guests as well bump up the likes you know what I'm saying? What kind of rubbish is this? Like, people can run bants, run jokes. I'm all for that. But the likes better match it. You know, that's all I'm saying because there's over 50 of you lot in here. And I even been on two minutes. Like, I forgot how much you lot love crud. And I respect it because if this was anybody else, I'd be doing the same thing. So, yes, let's bump up them likes first and foremost. Like, check, one, two, one, two. Hit the like button on the video, whether you're watching this live right now or watching this back. Make sure you share this across all the socials. At, at that's me, Flawless. Follow across our socials at Sarcasm City TV. Follow across our socials as well. And on top of those two things, subscribe to the channel Sarcasm City TV. And when you subscribe, make sure, you know what I'm saying, you hit the notification bell. And I've got three real ones with me because they could have really just left man to drown on the Titanic by, by myself. And I would have understood. I didn't even want to do this stream. I'm not going to lie. But I had to reach out to the gang gang to see what they were saying. Eddie is in the building. Rhino is also in the building. The young G, Nero, is in the building. What are you man telling me outside of football, first and foremost? Everyone good? <laughs> I'm good. I ain't spend no Bless. money on them fights, you feel me? Shout out to the illegal streams, my people. You know, <laughs> tap in when you can. <laughs> this guy. But yeah, we got Eddie in the building. Rhino, what are you telling me? You blessed? Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm big up Nero, big up Eddie as always. Love for having me. Yeah, listen, we're 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 as good as can be, man. All I can say is, when it rains, it pours, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Facts. And obviously, the young G, youngest in charge, as Eddie says. Nero, what are you telling me, young Don? You good? Yeah, man. I'm all good. Obviously, big up to you, flawless. Big up Eddie. Big up Rhino as well, man. And yeah. big up Pat, bro. This is gonna be a crazy one, man. Yeah. Like. It, 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 Flawless hit me up. I was like, I was like, yeah, I just have to come on here, man. I have to come on here. That, that, that stream. So, we, yeah, we're all good, man. We're all good. Yeah, man. Because like I said, I thought, let me reach out to everybody because I did. I reached out to literally all the all the regulars you see on here, all the special guests pretty much because I was like, all right, let me see who's um what everybody wants to say some people couldn't make it on shout out to Corey um because he's out he's out and about and he said yo this shit didn't happen to me he's like I'm just not accepting it so big up to the big six bands gang gang big up to Corey who I am going to get everyone on in regards to speaking about it as well I can see you lot in the chat going ham you lot really wait for the Manchester United to even lose <laughs> bye we 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 gonna get to everything um of course if you super chat I get straight to the comments um and questions as well if you do indeed super chat I get straight to your question I should say big up to uh C24 big up to you for the super chat says big up flawless long time bro condolence is my guy wouldn't it suck if the prince ended up buying spurs on second thought let me not put that out there um big up for the super chat it has been a long time good to see you in the chat condolences yeah it is obviously I'll be giving my full thoughts on it in regards to would it suck if the Prince ended up buying Spurs? Then Arsenal would know how we feel about Manchester City. That's the only benefit to that. Because like that is legit. They would then get a taste because that shit's not fun. It really isn't. Um, but yeah, if it were to buy Spurs, so be it. Innit? That's the team I actually want to see win the league because they they really pissing people off. And obviously, if you ch check out the Back Again podcast, you'll know why in it. Like, because the rest of them man hate Spurs on there. Shout out Troops, Lewis, and Hassan. But yeah, um, but yeah, big up for the super chat. Much appreciated, my guy. But Eddie, we'll start with you. And obviously, the news that Sheikh Jassim, you know, what I'm saying, has withdrawn his bid to buy Manchester United Football Club. Yeah, it sucks, bro. Uh, all I can say is welcome to the Bundesliga, to the rest of the uh, <laughs> to the rest of the club. This is gonna be City winning it over and over and over and over and over again. See, the thing is, like these people laughing, but we was the last hope. It was the last hope. Mm -hmm. Liverpool, if y'all could do something, y'all would have done something about it. Mm -hmm. Y'all got one. And y'all got one with nobody in the stands. So don't nobody really respect that one anyway. Y'all are happy at second place. 
And you you love to see it. I mean, again, as long as Eddie, they don't I got, win, I got, I'm cool. I got to stop you one second, Eddie. Just never uh. get this mistaken because I don't know. I mean, like comment on these things, but Jay Red says flawless needed backup for this one. Never, you know what no, I'm saying? No. I chose to get backup because when we lost seven nil, I was everywhere. I not only yeah. did all of my scheduled my my regular schedule, I did extra. I did so much hollering during that week, my voice went hoarse. So don't <laughs> ever think that I need backup. People, go check the tapes. My voice went. That's how That's much I was out here in, in you know what I'm saying, in the Lions then with the Lions. All the worst content creators in terms of losing you can think of. Big six months where it's the worst place to take it out with troops, with Hassan, with Lewis, with all the Chelsea dickheads. I was out here. Go back and check. I did extra. Let me repeat that. Troops messaged me during that game. For those that don't know, I think I spoke on this. As that game was going on and it went 4-0, troops messaged me. It was 3 or 4 nil, and said, are you sure you want to come on? I said, yeah. It then went six or seven and he messaged me back again and he was like, mm -hmm. are you sure you want to do this? Of course, I'm out here. Never get it mistaken. I'm not like other content creators, some of your favorites who run and hide when the going gets tough. So let me just let me just clarify that. You know what I'm saying? Just to, Sorry, Eddie. I just had to get No, 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 no. You, you got to set that. the, you got to let the record mm -hmm. reflect. Don't, don't let them throw dirt yeah. on your name. We like, know, we know what, what it, is. it is. We know what it is. But I'm yeah, voice I mean, well, go on, carry on. Chelsea, carry. Chelsea, no, nah, ain't no way, ain't no way. Once Roman left, so did your aspirations of holding any types of trophy. Y'all spend a lot of money, but y'all spend a lot, of, a lot of money running a high-priced daycare center. That don't equal no cups. That don't equal no cups. So, yeah, man, league's done, bro. League's done, and and United, as I, as we were thinking of it coming back, that that dream is over. Yeah. That dream is over. I put in my in my in my little uh, header R.I.P. United because that's what it is. Jeez. People, the dreams of United ever lived in any type of silverware not named the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup is over. It mm. sucks, but when you're going up against City, you need a level of capital investment that rivals them. Because they buy like nobody's business. They spend like nobody's business. And they set up the infrastructure to sustain their spending. That's why they can drop 100 on Jack Grealish, turn around, drop 100 on Gavardio, turn around, drop 50 here, 50 there on a Nunez, and not act like it really hurts them. Yep. Their right. infrastructure is set up for success. There's not a Premier League team who has set up their infrastructure to rival what they have. So unfortunately to my brothers, RIP United, this is the wake. This is the uh this is the sending off. All we can do now is smile, bro. That's it. And again, this is the villain art for me. So now I just root for misery for every team. I don't I don't care what we <laughs> misery, do. Misery loves company. Misery loves company. <laughs> I got all, all these people laughing about our demise. Okay. Okay. When y'all fall short, I'll be there to laugh too. Oh yeah, facts. That's but. what it is. That's all. That's the only joy I can get. I can't get no joy from winning. No more. Because it's not going to happen for us. But, you know, now we got a uh, bargain by uh, whatever that fool's name is. Uh, looking oh, for 25%. Think about this, man. We went from double double 3.5 to 25%, man. Yeah. He trying yeah. to buy us on layaway. <laughs> Don't make no sense, man. But hey, bro, I got my brothers with it, so you know I'm not going through it alone. So I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all speak on it too, man. Yeah, we out here. Before I get to Rhino and Nero, they're gonna give their thoughts and give him ample time. There's over a hundred people in here. You absolute crooks. You man, you man, I like the glazes. <laughs> like I swear, my international break here. Yeah. There's over a hundred people in here, and this is a late show. Like even for us, like this is slightly later. But yeah, bump up the likes. There's over a hundred people in here. Only forty five likes. Get us up to seventy likes. The chat is going crazy. I will star all the best questions, but to make sure your question comment gets read out, you have to super chat people. Don't forget, link is in the pinned comment for the membership as well. I'm going to add Rhino and Nero's channels to the title in a second. But Rhino, we'll go to you next. Thoughts on the information that came out today in regards to um, Fabrizio Romano. Listen, um, like I said, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and this is the beginning of the end. And you know where it is, yeah? I don't even like to be on this reactionary thing and, you know, start panicking and whatever. But we can see where this is going, you know? Like, Jim doesn't seem to have any money like that. 
there's always the possibility that it might not be as bad as it seems, you know. But I'm not going to kind of have my hopes hang in that direction. I'm just seeing it as Qatar was the best option that we would have had, the only option, you know. It's not like people were queuing up to buy United. And the fact that they've rejected it just tells more of a story for me, you know what I'm saying? There, there's, there's more of an agenda here. They're not, there's, there's, this is not good at all because they've spent how many years tearing down this club? Rival fans keep talking about, oh, you lot spend. Like, just, no, it's not about spending. It's about how we spend. It's about us running the club better, you know, whether it's the infrastructure, whether it's the scouting team, whether it's buying the right players at the right prices and all of that stuff. Cool. But if the Glazers haven't cared all this time, what's going to change? You know, we can look at Arsenal's situation where they wanted the Cronkies out. And obviously, people don't like it when you mention other clubs, but it is where it is. Take your, just, you're, you're gonna have to just listen. Innit? Yeah, say it with your chest. Yeah, you, see on the you feel me? Trust, true. Say no one. I've met you. No one ain't saying shit to you in person anyway. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, I'm saying that. that. Yo, yo, man, man, um, man, man, man dapped a bridle. I felt I was dapping up a brick wall on my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, my life. Hey, no, no respect. <laughs> still, oh, do you know what it is? Yeah, I just feel like. Yeah, there was a stage where the Ars- Arsenal wanted the Cronkies out and it all flipped around. Obviously, I don't know the whole backstory as to the runnings of their clubs and why they wanted them out and whatever, yeah. but they wanted them out at some point and it flipped around. So there's also the possibility that that could happen, you know? But at the same time, it just doesn't look good, man. R- Ratcliffe doesn't seem to have any money to spend. You know, the K- Qataris were going to come in and clear the debt. That alone is a massive step. It's a massive statement. Clear the debt. We're going to fix the infrastructure. We're going to try even, even to build a new stadium. So all of that sounded good. So, yeah, on the first basis of hearing everything, I was, you know, pissed off. I was thinking, damn, yep, we're done. We're in the mud. And like I said to you on the other show when I was with you, and Flawless, I've come to a stage of acceptance. So as much as it's, as it's a shock, I don't think nothing else can hurt me anymore because this club has put man in pain, bro. This yeah, man, this club is... This club's stressing man out, so it's, it is what it is. I'm not even going to go into it and cry. It is what it is. You feel me? It is what it is. But huh? it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. And I feel like, yeah, man, bro, if we end there, <laughs> listen, I don't want to start talking about relegation <laughs> and all of this stuff and, you know, League 2 and shit and all of that. But I don't know, man. I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's, it just is what it is. And there can't be any positive signs as much as, anything's possible i just don't see any positive positive signs to ratcliffe taking over what's he gonna do what's his agenda why does he want 25 percent? is he gonna work throughout the years and try and uh, take over the whole club because i believe that's what the glazers did as well somehow they did it over a period of time if he does own the whole club where's his money coming from is he trying to spend what, what's his angle he hasn't showed us what he's trying to do for us so that's why I feel like that's been a problem for us as well. He's not showing us his intentions. And, you know, a lot of owners come and say they want to do this, they want to do that. He's not saying nothing. You feel me? So what's his real intentions? And that's the problem for me still. So, yeah, man. No, that's calm. Let me get to the super chat quickly from, and I see the chat going crazy. Like I say, I'm trying to star all the best questions, but you know, it's going mad. Plus, I want to hear from my my co-hosts as well, my fellow United fans. Uh, big up to me, Yoba Banda, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Who says, ownership staying equals 10 hacks sacked if more points lost. I would say regardless, whether it was Sheikh Jassim, whether it's Jim Ratcliffe, whether it's the Glazers, whether it's a combination of Jim Ratcliffe and the Glazers, if a manager is losing games consistently, you are going to get sacked at Manchester United Football Club. And Rhino mentioned it there in regards to um, relegation. And it's like, yo, that might be the way forward. I'm saying one thing I would Mm. say, championship would be fun because I'm going to them away games. United Mm -hmm. get relegated, I'm going Preston away. Don't get a mistake. And Nero's not with it. I'm going Tranmere away, 100%. Uh, Without doubt. I know you're not with it. I am. Like 100% if it happens. Um, big up to you, Chris Clark, again for the super chat. Big up to you, he says. Um, hey, Flawless, been watching you from time and enjoy your shows with Rants and Troops. Guna, but a fan of you. Appreciate it, man. Love for that. And I like the fact that you can look past and support opposite teams. So I appreciate that, Chris. Please continue to support. And big up for the super chat as well. And good to see you here as well. Before we continue, Hey, these over, super chats keep rolling in. You might need to buy a minority stake your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying. I can't do any worse than the Glazers. You feel me on that? 
no webs. Um, yeah, but hey, over 150 people in there were at 61 likes. I see all the mods, all the regulars, all the new people. Hit that like button, man. As soon as you land, make sure you subscribe as well because these subscriber numbers should be going up, people. If you're here to enjoy our misery, cool. All I ask is hit the like button and subscribe. Mm. That is legit. And subscribe to Nero's channel and Rhino's channel. The links are in the title. And Nero knows ball, Rhino, MGTV, both links are in the title. Click the links, opens up new tabs that you can subscribe to their channels and find all their socials. Nero, floor is yours, man. Thoughts on this? Because this is something me and you had spoken, you had mentioned quite frequently in regards to the takeover. So yeah, thoughts on the news that came out today. So yeah, yeah. One thing I want to establish though, like, so... Is it, is it done? Like, is it completely done? Like, it's, it's over? A according to, well, according, obviously it's never completely done because even though he's withdrew his bid, he could come back tomorrow and decide, right, I'm going to bid X amount. So there's nothing stopping him from bidding again. It's just highly unlikely is what I would say because he's withdrew his bid according to Fabrizio Romano. Uh, Jim Ratcliffe has put in a, a bid for 25% stake that they're going to vote on. So yeah, it's pretty much done. Warrior J of, because someone actually dropped Fabrizio's quotes in the chat and I star him. So yeah, it's pretty much done. You know what I'm saying? Not 100%, but 99.9%. Nice. Listen, 0.01% in me, man. I'm just praying. I'm just praying. <laughs> you know what it is, yeah. <clears throat> when I saw it, yeah. Like, I didn't, I didn't really take it in too much. Mm. I was like, it's just business, like, you know, he's going to try back out the deal and maybe that's going to bring the price down or he's going to leverage something. But the way I'm seeing, I'm just seeing different things. And then when I saw the rack lifting with uh, Romano, like, my heart was just, my heart was just like the Shane and Top Boy, man. Like, bro, bro, I was just like, what am I seeing? You see what I yeah? am? If this Ratcliffe still, it can't happen. Nah, nah, nah. Flawless, it can't happen, bro. So you're in denial. Go it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? And that. You're out of the denial part. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bargaining. You know what I'm saying? And that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? There is no way that this is going to happen. I'm telling you, bro. Like, Man United fans, yeah, they need to, you need to vote with your feet and vote with your with your wallet. Don't go, don't go to these games. I've been saying it to people in the chat, yeah. Stop buying these football shirts. Like, you see this football shirt in the back? Luckily, I didn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah, pay same. it. I never bought this. You know what I'm saying? Plug. Shout out my plug. But go I on, didn't... carry on. Hey, you might as well buy a shirt from China. I would rather buy the, the shirt from China and and give give my money to the people that, you know, really deserve it. I, I don't want to give the money to, to these Glazers. Look what they're doing, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to hurt these guys' pockets, man. Like, bro, these men want, like, 8 billion, bro. Eight billion. It's just like, bro. Where, where are we going with this? Listen, there needs to be protests. <laughs> I said, where are we going with this? <laughs> there, there needs to be, that, bro. Who are we playing when we come back? Is it a home game? Is it? Yeah, hold that. Nah, wait, Sheffield United. Sheffield United. Go no away. Then who? Who have we got after Sheffield? Cop Copenhagen at home in the Champions League. <laughs> so for that Copenhagen game. Put this on Twitter. No one, I, I beg, please, no one go and go to that game. I'm praying, man. I want to see empty. Like, I want, like a woman's football match. No disrespect. Listen, I need it to be empty, bro. I need that whole place to be empty, bro. And then, then we can start acting, bro. Because, listen, it's like people talk on Twitter saying, oh, the Glazers, this, Glazers, that. But you're, you're literally in their pocket, bro. Like, literally. You're still, you're still buying shirts. You're still going to the games. You're still funding them, bro. Like, it's crazy. How are they getting away with this, bro? How are they getting away, like, genuinely? Like, how, bro? Because you know what, Nero? Because we're, we're too much of a juggernaut in regards to yeah. overall revenue. So even though, yeah, like, yeah. it would hit their pockets if, if, um, if fans didn't turn up, it looks bad on TV, then that, then that then hurts the pockets, which could be the case. But the problem the Manchester United fan base has is, even though we all want the Glazers gone, there's not one sole person we listen to. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, not one, there's not one head honcho that everyone goes, yeah, listen to him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, yeah. everybody has to be in on this to do it. Like, I can't remember what, I was talking to my, like, older heads will know this in regards to, I was talking to my mum 
about something and when they did um i don't know if was it similar to united but i was chatting to her about how they boycotted for those that don't know during the slavery days the bus boycott you know with rosa parks and it's like oh, oh yeah because i was telling her she don't like to walk anywhere that was it and i was like yeah if you was alive them times you would have rode the bus in it you know what i'm saying and that and everyone wouldn't have been on board so like that's to tie it in from that everybody has to be on board with what manchester united um What's it with getting them out? And everyone has different ideas how to do it, even though we have an end goal. So that's what it is. There isn't one person we listen to. There isn't a Malcolm X, a Maya Lu and even those two. And obviously that's much more serious issues. I'm not comparing the two. People didn't, didn't everyone didn't buy him. You know what I'm saying? Black people was against that. You feel me? So, but yeah, go on, carry on there. It is very tough. Go yeah, on. man. Right, bro, I'm just in denial at the moment. Man. First, I respect it. I can't believe this. Like, I, I was... I was like, I was ready to go back, Qatar, the Qatar national team. I was going to be the most in the comment section. I was saying to you that the watch party, the celebration, <laughs> bro, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I, I genuinely, I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just in shock. Wait, man. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Hmm. There's yeah, not in shock. Why are you? Nothing else to say, bro. Like, <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I, 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 if I can watch, if I can back this, bro, I can't. Like on right. top, yeah, it's like we we've got trash football. It's not that we don't. We play trash football. We got trash. Everything's trash, bro. We're just living off the past. And what's crazy, like for me, yeah, like when I deep, I don't even know why I support Man United. But it's not even like I grew up watching the treble winners. I grew up watching the Beckhams, the Canton, all that, bro. Sometimes you have to evaluate life choices, man. And I feel like I'm fucked up, bro. I fucked up, man. It is where you it is. See, you've still seen more success than most, but I hear you in regards to that. I hear you. Big up to Daniel for the super chat. Who says, hey, big up everyone. I knew this would happen. Just feel sorry for the people um, who didn't. I, I knew this would happen. Just feel sorry for the people who didn't fall for it. So we'll get into that because I'll give my thoughts because I've spoken on this in depth in regards to the ownership. And now we've got something concrete to talk about. And this is big up to Warrior J every single time. He says, Sheikh Jassim has withdrawn from the process to buy Manchester United. That's from Rob Dawson, ESPN. Um, Sheikh Jassim has withdrawn from the MUFC bidding process. That's from a Fabrizio Romano. And then a Fabrizio Romano also went on to say, Glazer's informed um, Sheikh of in Glazer's informed of Sheikh Jassim, Jake Sheikh Jassim decision. He has withdrawn from the process. Final bid understood to be almost double the 3.5 billion market valuation. 1.5 billion extra investment was planned. We'll go to you in a sec, Ryan. Let me just get to the super chat and get your response to that in particular. I compare your club to the Lakers. Big up C24 again for this super chat. Appreciate it. it. Says, I compare your clubs to the Lakers or Yankees. No matter how shit you are, your fan base too big not to show up to games. Your owners make money on accident. Yeah, you can't. Mm. Even as bad businessmen. They've treated Manchester yeah. United terribly and still make money because we're just too much of a juggernaut. Yeah. We are. Like, we're, we're just worldwide. Like, legit. And big up to LFC, uh, Badir. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Good to see you in the chat. And hey, love to rival fans showing me love. I do appreciate that. So shout out to Flawless, always real and speaking facts. Much appreciated for the super chat, my guy. Much appreciated. But we'll go to you, Rhino. As you shook yeah. your head when I mentioned there yeah. that the bid was 3.5 ma yeah. billion market valuation. Um, yeah. Double what the estimation, and I used that. The valuation, sorry. And it goes back to my whole point of what's their intention. And even to refer back to another point you made um, and even what Nero was saying about turning up to the games and whatever, like there's hundreds of like I can almost not say hundreds because our capacity is about what 75, 78,000 or whatever. Yeah, but there's like tens of thousands of people that are not even watching YouTube. They're just going to their, they're just living their life, going to the right. matches and all of that stuff. Right. You got fans worldwide, China, every country. So they're not seeing it as, oh, you know what. Let's try and get the Glazers out, whatever. They're more just seeing it as, you know, they've so supported Man United for however long and they just, they just come to watch a game of football. So unless all of our fan bases was, was to unite, you know, not all of our fan bases are together. You've got loads of big fan bases. You've got like United Stand, you've got United View, you've got flipping Stretford, you've got all, you got loads. But obviously there's politics in between everything. Not everyone's cool with everyone. If everyone was to unite together, and roll together and say, boom, let's let's start something. 
maybe you might see a little a little shift. But other than that, you're not going to see nothing because we're not all unified in the same page. You feel me? So that's one problem. And the Glazers, Glazers are smart because they've invested in something that makes money for itself. You feel me? And then on top of that, they, they didn't even use their money to get it. How can I buy a piece of gold, but the gold's worth so much that I can use its worth to get a loan to buy it? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't even have to touch my own money. I own yeah, the gold. Smart. Then the gold makes so much money for me that I can just keep making money. And whilst, when it starts going like deteriorating, I don't have to care because I'm going to rinse it dry, bro, because it's making me money. And as businessmen, these men are geniuses, bro. Man has to give it to them. As businessmen, forget the footballing aspect. As mm. businessmen, they are, they are geniuses, bro. You feel me? It's unfortunate that, unfortunate that they don't care about the club and they don't care what damage they're going to do whilst they're making their money. But, bro, that's their reality, bro. They don't give a toss about us, fam. You feel me? So it's painful, man. It's painful. But, yeah, bro, like, look at the valuation of the club. They're making, bro, listen, let me say it clearly. They did not spend their own money to buy the club. They're now getting double the valuation as an offer. Cash. Do you know how much yes, bread cash. that is? Like, profit. Cash. They've made instant profit. They're billionaires. They don't care. They see a longer-term goal of milking up more money out of this club. And that's just going to go from bad. It's going to go from bad to worse. You know? I'm not even falling for the whole hope thing. And you never know. Sir Jim might fool us. And, you know, it's possible, though. But... Bro, I'm not even trying to even think that way until I start seeing it myself, you know? So it's tough times, bro. It's tough times, man. And, you know, when we heard the Qataris were coming and we had the hope of United are back. Bro, do you know how scary it is for us to have the potential of a good manager, a good coach, all our structure being fixed and good owners? It's kind of too good to be true. It's, it's almost too good to be true. So, well, it is what it is, man. And that's what he was willing to do. Yeah, go on, Eddie. Here's the thing. With all these people saying, oh, I knew it wasn't going to happen. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, no, be, you did that, man. let's be real. Look at what they accepted and look at what they gave up. There's yeah. something outside of football that led to this decision being made. Because if you're meant to tell me they were going to give you at least $7 billion, clear your debt of $1.5 billion, and now you're accepting an offer for 25%, a 25% stake with the hope, not even the concrete signature that you're going to buy the rest of the stake. They're not that terrible of business people. But what they understood is they cannot get into the deal. Now, I'm not going to, you know, speak on why I believe the deal didn't go through because YouTube is censoring people for those types of talks right about now. But people... Mm. There is such a stark difference in what Jake Jasim was offering to what they're accepting now that you cannot sit here and act like he was not in pole position to actually own this club. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely he was. Because he offered more he offered more money. So of course the person with who's offering more money is favorite. Whether they get said whatever they're bidding for is a whole different conversation. But yeah, hundred percent. I could see it. I could see it if there were two competing bids, right? There were two competing bids that were some, somewhat equal in value. But a 25% stake in Man United is probably worth maybe a billion. Maybe. I, I'm not too sure on the math like that. Yeah, but definitely my strong suit. But go on, copy yeah, from. yeah, you feel me too. Me too. I am. I want this to avoid. I'm telling you. But hey, not my strong suit. <laughs> yeah, it's just you can't you can't you can't say that because it's not it's not accurate. It's not yeah. accurate at all. Like look people again. 3.52 times two times. That's at least seven billion he was willing to put down for Manchester United, plus the one that's the eight million they were looking for. Mm. And now they're looking at 25%. Even if even if it's the idea of the Super League. If they get to the Super League, they're not they're not going to get that money back. If, and they could have wrote it in. We're going to get some percentage of that Super League money when we sell you the club. Hmm. It is what it is. But, you know, when it comes to United, um, 
And when it comes to football in 2023, and when it comes to big business, it's not just about football anymore. So, you know, we got we to gotta hold it. And it's a crazy world we live in, people. And, you know, certain things trickle down into football, as we've seen a lot these, these recent years. So, um, yeah, that's all I can really say about that, man. It is what yeah. it is. And in regards to the offer they was making, it's crazy. Like Shay just in, in regards to cash up front, clearing the debt, improving the infrastructure, improving the stadium, improving the facilities, making and then um, putting money into the surrounding area of Manchester as well. Like there isn't pretty much more he could have done and said, I really, he put his money where his mouth is. And yet the Glazers still um, turned it down. Big up to V1, I'm going to get to that super chat as well. There's now over 200 people in there. These likes is looking terrible. This is looking like a Jim Ratcliffe um, offer. What's going on? How are we at over 200 and we ain't even at 100 likes? Like, this, this brother Jim going to make somebody likes. like Tadebo his cash money signing. <laughs> he just going to move one, <laughs> money from one pocket to the other pocket and call it a big uh, transfer. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it is. And I'm going to give my... No, you don't like the video, man. Come on. Even if you're here to like our misery, like the video. Like, please. Yes, like. Get to 100 <laughs> likes right 93 now and hit the subscribe button as well. And make sure you subscribe into Nero's channel and Rhino's channel. Links for both of them are in the title. We're at 8,337. Get us to 8,350 people. That's what I'm looking for. 8,350 subscribers. There's over 200 of you lot in here. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that notification bell as well. Big up all the mods. Don't forget, link for the membership is in the pinned comment as well. I've got fan calling shows coming up next week. And with this news, oh, they're going to be they gonna be great. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be good anyway. But with this, woo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's going to be a lot to discuss. So, yeah, it's already on the upcoming live stream schedule. Oh, yeah, let me get to this as well before I give my thoughts as well. V1, good to see you in the chat. Um, big up for the super chat, man. Appreciate you always supporting, man. Love says Glazers ain't selling to Sir Jim for political reasons. If Sir Jim put five billion on the table, it would be likely be sold. But it's who you're selling to and where they're from is a mad world at the moment. Reason why I disagree with this because I think the Glazers personally just put money above everything. I don't think this is nah, um, but where they from. You don't think so? You think nah, they would have? Like, I'm gonna keep it. A, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Yeah, yeah. Because I know the Glazers. And what their associations are, they they associate. And I Trump, know, right? and I know, and I know Qatar and what their associations are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 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 it's playing a big part in what's ended up going on, bro. Because again, think about how like just how drastic of a shift it went from talks to all of a sudden he's pulling out. He was willing to fight this long. Mm -hmm. He was willing to fight this long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he said, I'm completely out. Mm -hmm. And who was his competition? <clears throat> the Glazers asking price? It's not like he's scared of that because he got the money about it. Yeah. You know, you got Jim Radcliffe. He don't got the money like that. Now they're desperate. So it's like, well, shit, I can't. I'm leaving with some. You know, we talked that. I'm leaving <laughs> yeah, with some. They got to leave with yeah. some. Uh, I, why do you guys? Why do you guys think that all of a sudden it happened? Because like all of a sudden in the middle of October it's happening. I think, and funny enough, do you guys remember when so, there was rumors that we're gonna get a decision on it? I'm sure people were screaming October still. That being said, with the deadline, yeah. you know how many deadlines there's been with this? Yeah, from the yeah. start, there's been so many. You know what I'm saying? 25th hour bid is gonna be. I remember this. Like oh, obviously, once I, I discussed those. it, there were so many deadlines. Like yo, with we're finding out this day, and then that day came and went. And it was still me. This is the first time we've actually heard from a reliable source in Fabrizio Romano and actually heard from the Glazers in terms of a decision. Yeah. Like in terms of, and Sheikh Jassim, he's withdrawing for whatever reason. I would love to know because he didn't state why. But in why, regards yeah. to the Glazers, I think it's just like, if he would have put down, I think they were just looking for a ridiculous amount of money. That's what it is. I think if he would have put down 10 billion or something, they would say, yeah, I think this is just money ruling up. Could be wrong. But that's just what I would I think be this with is. you, Flowers, if they didn't, yeah. if they didn't, if they didn't just accept pennies. Yeah, with the Sheikh Jassim, not Sheikh Jassim. The thing is, with Jim Ratcliffe, that's not gone through yet. That's to a vote, and even if he takes twenty five percent, they still hold all of the. They still hold the, the vast majority. Right, so it's crumbling. like they. <laughs> it's like if they they had because for me, right? Let's think about they gave deadlines of 
the the um the deal going through, or at least when people thought the deal was going through, to he's completely removed himself from the race. I feel like if there was even an inkling that he was going to remove himself, we would have heard it prior to today. Yeah. We would have heard something something Maybe. concrete like yeah. the the deal is in jeopardy. He's unhappy about this and this, or you know the Glazers. Have kind of you know we heard little feeding moments about the Glazers hope maybe keeping and being interested in an investment, but a lot of what that was what that was put through was just them saying that okay we even I think one part the Qataris said we believe that these stories are being put out there so the Glazers can drive up the price and we're not budging from our evaluations. To now he's just completely removed himself from the race like he's just not even doing it. Sounds That's like what I'm up. saying. Like it's so drastic of a shift, mm. right? It's just it's there's a lot outside of uh, outside of football going on right now that I think has bled mm -hmm. into. It. And maybe it ties into just they've been negotiating this whole time. My man is just fed up. It's like, what more can I do? What more do you want? Like that's another thing. That's why I would love to hear from Sheikh Jassim in regards to yeah. why he, why he said, you know what, I'm out. I would love to know. Like, did they say, right, we want X amount, and he offered X amount, and then they said, nah, we want more. Like, no. that is possible. Yeah, go on, Neil. Oh, bro, I, I think it's quite obvious, though. Like, I, I just oh. think... They, Before they... you carry on, Nero, one sec. Yo, Rhino, I know you got to dip my G. Let them know where they yeah. can find you. Anything you want to add, all that good stuff. Rhino, I mean, Nero, hold that thought, but go on, Rhino. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, Rhino, MGTV, you know, make sure you subscribe. You feel me? I just dropped a video giving my quick thoughts on this whole situation. I'm going to do a deep dive in it. Go live probably maybe Monday. Um, check out my Sunday 9 p.m. show. We're going to be talking about, you know, who's harder to date with male, male or females. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so every Sunday I do those kind of shows. You feel me? Minus football. So, yeah. So Say make sure you look into Say that. <laughs> um, who's harder to date? The mate, um, men or women, you feel me? Yeah, we're gonna have oh, a little man. debate, man. I'm, oh, yeah, man. I'm tapped, yo. I'm <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. I'm looking to cause a riot with that one, yeah, yeah, I love yeah. It. I yeah. Love it. <laughs> so, Sunday, 9 p.m. UK time. Um, I believe CST, I think it's like five or four hours behind or whatever, or six hours behind. Um, EST is five hours behind, yeah. But you, 9 p.m. UK time, make sure you lock in Sunday, 9 p.m. And then this week as well, I'm going to be doing some other football lives as well. So yeah, that's Rhino MGT. Make sure you subscribe, like up the video. Big up Nero, big up Eds as always. Flawless as always, love man. Big up the chat as well. I see all you guys in the comments as well. Big up man, love to all you man. Make sure you like the video and females right, like right the now. video. <laughs> and yeah, and people, that's four p.m. Eastern. You know what I'm saying? Nine p.m. UK 4 PM time, Eastern. four p.m. Eastern time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhino, love every single time. Yeah. Big Come up, on, man. love man. Every big up time. you, man. Yeah, love. Bless up. Go on, Nero. Flaws yours. You were saying it was. It's quite obvious. Yeah, I just think this is quite obvious, bro. Like these men, yeah, these players. I think what what, what do they want to start with? I think that they might have wanted like four billion or something like that. Because the club's barely that like, three point five, and then probably went up and up and up. And it's like you know that they're kind of desperate. Like I wouldn't say they're completely desperate because look, they've literally walked out, but they have. They're in a position where it's like, yo, we know we can get as, we can try and get as much money as possible. So maybe they were holding up for 10 billion or 9 billion. And I, I don't know, wait, what was it? Can someone in the chat uh, put it in? What did they um, reject? Was it 7 billion or 8 billion or pounds? I think it, I think it, I think it was 4.5 billion and then there was 1.5 billion that was going to go to everything else, I think. I think it was. Let me see. I think I'm it was that. I think it was four point five billion. The one now. The one. Yeah, yeah. The bid now. I think it was four point. I think it was four point five billion. One second. Oh swear. Oh wait. Final bid understood to be almost double. So no, it was seven billion. But I don't yeah, think that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the whole seven billion wasn't to the Glazers. I think some of it was to the infrastructure and things of that nature. I think it was one point five. They said. I think. Mm -hmm. I think it, it was. was it was seven. It was seven for the club altogether. Mm. And then 1.5 just for the total makeup of the so infrastructure. It eight, so it was 8.5 billion altogether. Seven yep. to them. And they said no to seven bill. 
These crazy. But shit. then you see what I'm saying? They but then as far as think about what I'm saying, right? And then they said yes to a 25% stake. Yeah, just you feel why you feel why I got some yeah, I, I got some yeah, questionable. I yeah, I get you. you know what I'm saying because from outside looking in, that don't make no type of sense. Yeah, go on, Nero, carry on. Yeah, so I just think, bro, they got too greedy, and that's what happens. And it's like they, you can tell, like they were half-hearted. They didn't really want to sell. If you really want to sell, like I feel like it would have been done, man. Obviously, like mm. we, things don't take time, but um. It was just taking a bit longer than than it should have, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's just like if you know someone wants to sell something, the deal can get wrapped up quickly, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like it's not like um, it, it was a thing where the Qataris were stalling on the price because I'm sure if the Glazer said, "Yo, we want this, we want this price," and it sounded good to them, they probably would have paid it. They probably mm -hmm. would have paid. It. Straight, because these guys have money, so it's not even like it's not even a play play thing for these man, bro. Yeah, I said it's not even a play play thing. <laughs> I love that. We're flipping shit, just seeing now. I mean, uh, Rakif, whatever his name is, I don't, I don't even. Yeah, bro, that guy looks homeless, bro. Like, what's he gonna, what's he gonna do for the club, bro? This narrow guy, man. Go on, carry on, Young G. Like, bro, <laughs> this guy. Like, yeah. Okay, so when he comes in, twenty five percent, he on twenty five percent, yeah. So what are we gonna see? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna refurbish the canteen, man? What? <laughs> like, what's he going to do? I wanna see on the pitch, like, cause like, bro, oh, I'm so like, I'm so confused. He can't even do anything at Nice. Go win league oh, in at, in France. Go do go. Make your own team challenge. Mm. For you know what I'm saying? You can't even do it with Nice. So what makes you think you can do it with Manchester United? You know what I'm saying? What makes you think you could even take us to that level? Bro? Like, literally, like, bro, it is Because he's, he's a Manchester United fan. Yeah, That's why. Bro. He had like a season ticket for Chelsea or some next thing, bro. Hey, hey, man's willing to let the Glazers stay, but they'll tell you he's a Manchester United fan and he wants to put the Manchester back in Manchester United, yeah. whatever that means. Even whatever if, that means. You know what is it? Even if Sheik she just seem, um isn't a Man United fan yet, you don't, I don't, I'm sure most owners of clubs are not, that, they're not fans of the clubs. But it's just like, bro. This 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 guy, there's nothing to look forward to. Like genuinely. Like genuinely, genuinely, there's nothing that's gonna change. Like we were if the if the Qataris were gonna come in, we we're looking forward to seeing um the new stadium, you know what I'm saying? New training ground, new everything, new board, new ah oh, just just it was too good to be true, like you said, bro. Yeah, Eddie said that. Yeah, Eddie mentioned it. Eddie it's, said it. Good to be true, like Man United doing big club things. Cause let's be real, man. This this club hasn't been a big club for for ten years, man. Yeah, we've not moved like a big club for years. Yeah, I agree with that. Club for ten years, bro. It hasn't, man. And and I think if this guy truly comes in, if and if he actually comes in and and it is it's a material thing and it's done, I think it's I think it's over. And that's why I'm not trying to get too angry because I still think that there's hope. I don't get angry. Don't get yeah. That's one thing I will say. Don't don't get angry. Don't get angry. I can never get angry with with these things because it's like these men don't even know I exist. Man United don't care. They don't care for us, man. Like they don't care for us, bro. That's why they're doing things like this. So you know, what I'm saying when they lose, when Man United lose, it's it's the players. It's not me. I didn't put the team up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy out here, bro. It's actually crazy, but yeah, like what Rydon was saying about uh, how the the fan base is divided. The only thing, the only reason why I would say that the protests and the things that that can happen is because every every Man United fan has like a common evil, a common enemy, and it's the Glazers. I can't tell you a Man United fan that is pro Glazers. You know what I'm saying? That's like absolutely loves them because you you you'll be lying to yourself. Here's oh. the thing, Nero. 
Here's the thing, though. I don't know where you. I don't want to. Let me not cut you off, though. You got it. Let me. My fault. My fault. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say, carry on, man. Hey, flaws yours, man. That's why you here, man. Grab that microphone. Take stand the stage. Yeah, man. This your verse. This, your, this, your, fault, this your verse, man. You this your verse. Fault, you got thirty two bars. You got the sub hook lead, and then you got your own remix of the hook. The floor is yours, man. You know what I'm saying? This like a control verse. Let's go, man. Yeah, but it's just like. <laughs> Um, with with the fan base, yeah, we've got a common. Like, everyone's got a common evil and common enemy, bro. It's the Glazers. So mm -hmm. that little bit of hope in me is like, us as fans, we can we can actually do something. We can actually do something to to stop this because people don't understand. If this materializes, we're finished. We're finished. Like our new rivals will be flipping Salford City in a few years. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that shit was slap. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? That was slap. <laughs> that was slap. Hey, Kaneki, Monday, man, I got you, man. Monday, like I say, for those just before you carry on, fan calling shows all week from next week, people. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 p.m. UK time, that is 10 p.m. It's on the schedule already here on the YouTube. And if I have to be here, if I'm here two hours, three hours, I will get through every single call and every single day, people. Like the same way I've done Sarcasm City TV specials week, it's the fan calling week. So I'm giving back to the support, showing my appreciation for what you lot do and the way you lot support. So all week long, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I've got another announcement, announcement I'm going to drop later on in the show as well for you lot that you lot are going to like. But yeah, go on, carry on there, bro. Wait, is that, is that, um, the jazz in the chat, like, German? Yeah, 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 of course, man. Dickhead jazz. Yeah, that jazz. Call him what he is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dickhead bro. jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm and just before you go to J Reds, open yeah. to everybody. The fan calling show is open to everybody. The only thing is with members, they queue jump. So if you're a member, then you'll jump. It's first come, first serve, but you'll queue jump as a member. It's open to everybody, don't matter who you support. Yeah, go on there, we'll carry on. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I don't think it was... Like, we like to generalise Sheikh Jassim with, as saying the Qatar mm -hmm. is just easier, isn't it? But I don't think it's a state thing. I don't think it was a state thing. I feel like that's just Man United top reds just being, I, I don't know the word for it. I don't know if it's xenophobic, but just being weird. Just ignorant. Ignorant. Just, just call it ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when you start mentioning big words like xenophobic and that, over my head and that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to talk football and that. <laughs> call it ignorance. You know what I'm saying? And that. I ain't going to set you up and be like, yeah, it's xenophobic. That. Nah. It's going to easily be using it in the wrong context. Uh, it's all right. Just use ignorant, like Eddie said. That's the best way to describe it. Ignorance, right? Because it's like the Glazers. The Glazers are worth how much, and you don't say that they're state owned by the United States, bro. You just say it's yes. the Glazers, but yeah, because it's Qatar involved, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, it has to be. Yeah, like 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 people in Qatar aren't individuals. Like there isn't a rich. Like there isn't multiple rich individuals in Qatar. It's nonsense. Well, yeah, go on, carry on, Nero. Yeah. So what I'm saying, where was I? I keep on forgetting where I am because it's cool. No, man. no, no, you good? You're, you're talking about the fans and how they all have the common enemy of it being the Glazers. Yeah, it's just like, bro, I can just see something crazy being that like, happening. Whether then they, they need to sort it out very quick. Whether it's like smashing up the fan shop, the the super is it called Mega Store? Yeah, know. boy, yo, yeah. yeah. Bro, this it, guy, they need to move. They need to move militant, bro. Hold on one second. Hey, just hold that for one yeah. second. Just hold that for one second. Go on, carry on, Nero. Yeah, um, nah, yeah, he's he got <laughs> so to put the banner up because you're here talking about inside. So, just so to say, all the views expressed by panelists on Sarcasm City TV are not always the views of flawless or Sarcasm City TV, but go on, carry on, bro. They need to, I'm saying, I'm saying, for me, me personally, this is my opinion. If you want, if we want the Qatari, then we're going to have to do the mad thing. Break that shop down. Break it, bro. Smash it. If that's what it takes for the, um, for, for these guys to leave, then so be it, man. Like, honestly, bro. Like, if they have to run into the stadium, you know what I'm saying, rip up the grass, do all of that burn the seats we can do that I, obviously i'm i'm not going all the way to manchester i don't really care tito nah, i'm a beautiful but listen black like, i'm expecting to see that bro 
you know what I'm saying? Break the roof even more, man. I, I heard that the roof's leaking or something. Like, smash it. Someone needs to climb the roof and just break it. Tear it down, bro. Car. If we let these guys, this these Ratcliffe guys come in, bro, we're going to die, bro. We are genuinely going to die. People don't understand. Like, people genuinely, like, open your eyes, bro. We could have got a new Trafford. We could have got a new stadium, new training ground. Ronaldo was complaining. He was saying, oh, this, the dinner lazies were the same. Training ground was the same. I'm hearing that the weights was like the same weights he was using in 2007 and that, bro, we could have seen an upgrade, bro. Could have. This is what happened. So close, bro. So close. So, it is, man. It is what it is, bro. Like, I'm seeing people in the chat laughing and it's just like, bro, <laughs> like, if I was a rival fan, I would be gassing. Look at the way they're reacting, bro. It's a win for them. Like, look at the way... Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Like, that, that's why, that's why I'm so angry because it's like, look at the reaction of the fans of other, of other clubs. They are relieved, bro. Because Man United, yeah, of the old, we are like a big force, isn't it? Absolutely. To go get this this guy in, I think that's it. We would have gone to another level, yeah. At another level, bro. Like Man City level. Man City, oh, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Smoking a fat cigar right now, bro. wherever he is. I know, um, what's his name? The old uh, man saw them. Man are chilling. Mm -hmm. They are gassed. Like, bro, I'm just yeah going through it. Wow. Yeah, as I might, I'm seeing it. Like I said, I'm trying my best to to, to obviously. Start some, start some of the best questions, but obviously Nero got a lot to say, as is Eddie. I might have my say, as did Rhino as well. So just in a few things, like, yes, it is. This is our, not, our short-term future was already bleak. But now this puts the medium to long-term future already in that. That's put the nail in the coffin of Manchester United becoming a force over the next, I'd say, at least five to ten years. Like, forget about it. Because that shakes just in bid was everything we needed it wouldn't have guaranteed success but what it does is give us the best platform to succeed and that's all i ask for is give us the best um platform to succeed that is legit it so it has put the nail in the coffin with that and in regards to i see when people say oh like manchester united fans taking out the qatari bios out of their um out their names i never engaged in that you know why i don't know if it's because i'm slightly older because i've just got sense you know what i'm saying i don't get wrapped up in news you know what i'm saying this is why people on here why do you think i don't do immediate reactions why do you think when this news broke today and this is no disrespect to anyone who does it because people who put me on do immediate reactions aaron everyone knows that's the guy who's the first guy to give me shot shout out to aaron united every single time most underrated content creator like mm. i think he he pretty much um responded to it straight away the reason why i don't do immediate reactions is because i let whatever information swirl around my head you know what I'm saying? And have action and then think about it. And then I'll come here. I could have easily went live as soon as that news broke. As soon as that news broke, I said, like, bomb, he up Eddie, Nero, Rhino, whoever else, and, and went live. So in regards to that, I let him, and that's why I never got gassed. When I was told from certain people in the chat, oh, you're negative. Oh, why are you not getting gassed about this? We're definitely getting taken over. There was no source that said any of these things. Deadlines. People were talking about deadline. Rhino mentioned it in regards to someone had said the deadline was October. How many deadlines before this one? Bear in mind, this has been going on since, was it like February? I think it was like February 1st. It like this initially became a thing. It's when been was going... it? I don't know how long, but it's just been going on. Yeah, it's been going on a long time. So in regards to that's why that's why I didn't get gas. This is why I never put a Qatari bio, I mean a Qatari flag in my bio. This is why I never, I've got, I've said this, I've got the full Arab attire. I'm saying, not for this, it's from when I went to Dubai years ago. I'm saying, I have the head wrap with the thing you put around it, the full gown. And I said, if we get taken over, I would 110% be sat in that for the week. Without that, I would have done that. It's literally just there. I'm saying, it's in the room. But it didn't happen. And this just goes to show for United fans, just with everything, relax. Say it all the time. 
relax. Whether it's ownership news, whether it's manager news, whether it's transfer window, signing a player or selling a player, etc. Whether it's an actual match itself. Like, people would just be doing too much. And this is a prime example because now there is a lot of Manchester United fans who are taking Qatari flags out of their bios. Who are now content creators or people in comment section eating their words because people were convinced this was done. Don't let hope convince you something was done with no facts. Why was people... I still don't get it. People were so convinced, even though there was no reliable source. I would love, I would have loved for Sheikh Jassim to take over 110%, but I kept saying reliable sources. I asked for sources with everything. Shout out Warrior J. He's the Fabrizio Romano of Sarcasm City TV, without doubt. He you know, I don't even have to ask him. He every time he writes a comment, he'll at whoever the source is. So whether it's a great source, whether it's a bad source, whatever, so we know where we stand with it. And that's just legit. Um what it is. So yeah, like I said, for the foreseeable, we finished. And we just have to, we move it. That's what we have to do. Literally, like when certain happens in life and you go, we move. Nobody cares. It's kind of like that. Like, that's legit what it is. And V1, did I miss a super chat of yours? If I did, I do apologize. But I don't think I did. Ah, oh, no, nah, I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. But if I did, you lot let me know in the chat. But I think I got to the mall. So that's just legit um, what it is. This is why I don't have... Um... Nah, your super chat wasn't disrespectful, V1. You gave your opinion. You wasn't disrespectful to anybody. You know, I thought you was disrespectful. I would have said, and you're not. I mean, and you disagree on multiple things, but you wasn't disrespectful. And yeah, that's just legit what it is. Am I burnt by this? Yes. 110% I am. Because this was our chance to... With how the rest of the Premier League is, this was our chance to actually go and rival Manchester City. Eddie mentioned it. Welcome to the Bundesliga. That's what it's been and it is that now. We was the last hope for, not everybody, but we was the last hope for the league to be competitive from a neutral standpoint. From all them fools who say, oh, I want the league to be negative. I mean, I want the league to be competitive. Couldn't care less. You know what I'm saying I grew up with Manchester United dominating the league. Take me back to that. People are like, oh, you'd you'd love to win 10 leagues in a row. Yes. 110%. Yes. Find me a Bayern Munich fan who's bored of them winning the Bundesliga. Guaranteed it don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed that does not exist. There's no Bayern Munich fan on the planet that's like, yo, I wish Dortmund were better, so maybe we don't have the success we have. What kind of stupidness is that? And like you know Chief. What? Yeah, go on. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, but that's nah, cool, man. I'm seeing it in the comments. Like I, I forgot to say this. Like mm. Newcastle are coming up, Chelsea are coming up. These guys are just gonna take our spot. They're gonna take our spot, bro. Good. <laughs> like literally, and then what? Next minute, we're gonna be convincing long staff to stand for Man United because, bro, that's where we're gonna be as a club if we let this guy come in. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the way it is, bro. There are teams that are seriously moving. They're moving in the right direction, bro. Like, and we're trying to get Ratcliffe, bro. Look at look at Chelsea, yeah. As much as I can laugh at where they are on the table, bro, I can see their situation. It's only going to get better for them because they can't do any worse. The worst that we saw Chelsea ever going to do was last season. It's only going to, even if they finish seventh this season, it's an improvement. It's improvement. It's an improvement for them. It is an improvement and, for them if they finish seventh. Exactly. And you know that they're going to spend bread. They're probably going to go and get Ivan Tony in the January window. You know what I'm saying? They're, pro they're going to move. Look at Newcastle, bro. No one gave them a hope in the Champions League. Look what they did to PSG. Big PSG, you know. And we couldn't get, we couldn't get rid of Galatasaray with, with our first team. A, a team full of Premier League rejects, man said Lucas Torreira. I forgot that guy was alive. But if it, it shows where we're at, though. Ex exactly. It bro. shows where we're at. That's not even a shock that we got beat. We might be disgusted by it, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a shock that we got that we got beat. And yeah, man, like, like Ed, Eddie hit the nail, nail on the head. Like, it's a wrap for the, the Premier League being competitive, if you care about that. Like we was the last ones, but from a Manchester United perspective, it's just the worst that could have happened. Worst could have happened because we've seen what's happened under this ownership because they don't care about winning. Whereas at least Sheikh Jassim, it doesn't guarantee success, but it gives us the best possible platform to then launch and try and go and compete. But we're already handy. We're already handy. We're already on one leg in this race anyway. It's oh, it's it's a wrap, bro. It's like this. It's um. 
you have to have the ambition and the creativity as a business owner to challenge what city are doing. Because if you look at city, what if, and Foz can speak to this, what have they done with just their side of Manchester alone with regards to business development and overall experience for the fan? When it comes to United, right, what we have is this. We have an ownership group who is in it for sports entertainment, meaning they want it to be an attraction. It doesn't have to win. It just has to be a place that will have millions and millions of fans go through those turntables, turntables every single game. Mm. And to your point, Nero, like what we talked about, when you have an international fan base like United, and I hate to call people certain people, but it has to be said that are that are sheep. They're sheep, meaning they will not question what goes on with United. They'll just run as quick as they can to the next game and enjoy the idea of being at a United match. That's fairly different from who you, I, and Flawless are as fans. We look at this this whole United thing from a macro level, meaning we look we look at it from every single factor. How does it contribute or how does it harm Manchester United, right? And so that's what we're dealing with right now. We can see what the Glazers are doing to the club, but as long as people still have the idea of what Manchester United are in their hands, they can't see the forest from the trees that we're so far from what we are. They'll continue to show up. Think about how many people wanted Ollie to be manager. Mm. They could care less about what exactly United is is trying to be. They just care about the, oh, my gosh, we almost had it. We were in second place. Feelings. Not knowing that we were, what was it, like 36 points off of first place whenever it was when he was second place? (laughs) Something crazy like that, yeah. Something crazy. These people don't care as deeply as we do, bro. Which is why they go get the shirts. Think about it, man. I got shout out to my Hispanic homie with the hot press. That's how I've been getting my jerseys made since, <laughs> since Lord knows when. Shout out him, man. Yeah, he'll get the Adidas. He'll get the Adidas. Uh, really? He'll get the Adidas. Just plain red, red kitty. Tell me, yo, which numbers you want on it? Hmm. Or if I go to Kenya, it's the same thing. They making them jerseys right at the spot, bro. They not they not doing all of this. Oh yeah, you going to the yeah, you going that's 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 home for you. That's you home for all saying? black people, but I'm yeah, that's like that's that's family family for you. you <laughs> Kenya, I'm putting yeah, money yeah. in my people's pocket. I ain't putting it in there. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So we just operate at a different level. We are we see it from a different wavelength. Like they top res for a reason. Because they family's family's been going to the matches. And I honestly think that to, to a lot of other people's credit though, we've been we've been glazers out even when we was winning. That's why I'm not necessarily here for oh, they spend money. Cause even when people was we was getting dubs, it was still glazers out. The green, it was the green still... and gold thing, yeah. That's what I dislike. People are like, yeah. oh, you only pull out the green and gold. Nonsense. I keep saying this, I was there. With my green and gold scarf, what we talking about? When when they we just won started the saying FSG out, when True. they started losing, when they started getting smacked up, when they start the shine get, came off that Liverpool run for a little bit, Cronky out disappeared real quick. We was Glazers out when we were second place. They was Cronky in when they were second place. There's levels to this. Hey, facts, facts. So I, I'm, 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 you know, you know me. I, ain't, I ain't here to incriminate myself, but brother Nero, you was on to some, cause that's the only way. It got to get real spooky mm. at Old Trafford before anything really, really, really yeah. change. Very rarely, like peaceful protest works. That's exactly. Made. Exactly. Like, that's just in anything. But what is in that anything? A peaceful pro. There's no such thing as a peaceful protest. In my opinion. There is. There is when the cops let you walk around a bit. <laughs> like the cops really let you just walk around. They say, yeah, go here. Go here. It's okay. Think about it. The people you protesting against telling you to go where you can go. That No, it don't make no sense. That's not, mm-hmm. like, that, that's not what we're here for. So I'm going to just keep it a stack. Like I, I'm with the, uh, the Newcastle thing. I hear that. I hear that because 
that makes sense. The new cat, like they that that really makes sense, right? Like you talk about a level of investment and a level of belief that they've changed, and those are footballing people. So they're they're spending that money with a purpose. Chelsea, on the other hand, I have a hard time believing because he's just the type of owner to just splash the cash. As he's shown, he's shown them. He'll splash it wherever. But you don't have a form, you don't have a proven track record of winners leading the charge. Mm. The people at Newcastle have a history of doing this because they've learned from Manchester City. But Bowley's just come in on let me splash this hundred hundred billies and let's see what we can do. I mean, now maybe that produces some fruit, right? Who knows? So I can hear both of them, but yeah, they about to take us out. And trust me, they will take Liverpool out because Liverpool, for what it's worth, for who they've lost and what they've replenished it with, I don't know, bro. Like, you can't tell me you got you lost Fabinho and Henderson in that midfield and your replacement is Endo from Japan, dog. And I'm supposed to believe that y'all got it. Y'all got it screwed on shut. So we'll, in time will tell, but us, oh yeah, we out of it. We out of it. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 we done. We done. Yeah, man. we're done. We we, we, we we was a cup team anyway. Now we're just a cup team for longer. When I say that domestic cups, we not even that we win. That's our aim. Domestic cups. Simple as that. Unless we stumble across a goat manager, like goat levels, like absolutely elite, and like somebody in a higher ups who's elite, like David Gill level in regards to like signing players. Like other than that, it is a wrap. Really, That's really exactly is. what I'm talking about, Jez. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right, when you when cool. you look at when you look at I'm and I and I'm sorry, Stephen Jordan, if it sounds like I'm catching giving y'all strays, but I'm gonna be real. And I said it once, I'll say it again. Klopp, Klopp made miracles happen. He really did. So what happens when y'all lose Salah and Allison? Do you think you're going to spend that type of money to get that type of player back in there? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all I'm saying. That's fun. all I'm saying. Like, y'all know y'all owners. You spend, like, we spent we spent 90 mil or whatever was on Pog, but and then what? We spent 30 million here, 20 million there. Nah, it don't take, it don't move like that, bro. You got to keep spending that level it's, of money it's to be really consistent. improve your squad. It got to be got, consistent. Yeah. It's gotta be cons- it's gotta be consistent, um consistent spending. Like and smart as well. Can't be dumb with that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be you gotta be smart. You can't be stupid with it. For real. Hey, you lot though, continue. There's over just under 200 people in here. Continue to bump up the likes, people. At 137, girls to 160, subscribers. That's right? amazing. 8, 000... We appreciate y'all, bro. We yeah, really man, do, bigger. man. Uh, 8,347, three more. Get us to 8,350 people. That's the, that's the milestone I wanted. Get us to that. There's only I'm only asking for free subscribers, and there's over 200 people in here. Make sure you subscribe to Nero's channel as well. We are closing out in the next 10, 15, 20 minutes, people, depending on what's going on. V1, I mean, depending on the questions, because I think we've all pretty much... There isn't really too much to say on it, to be honest, apart from from a Manchester United fan. It sucks. V1, big up for the super chat. Says, Nero, do you buy or use Adidas, DHL, Cadbury, or TeamViewer? I even know what TeamViewer is. I'm guessing he's asking this. Very strange super chat. Or big up for the super chat. In regards to these are the, the only the things that are linked into oh. Manchester United. You're like, oh. you know, sponsors. Yeah, I'm not stopping buying Adidas gums. I'm just pointing it out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to say how I get my... Adidas stuff, but just just know that if I say it, I might get you know what I'm saying. But hi, right, you gonna talk? We are gonna talk after. You know what oh, I'm saying? that's what we are gonna do. Yeah, oh, yeah, we talk after. Yeah, hundred percent. But DHL, DHL as in what the delivery company? Yeah, yeah, yeah delivery company. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't even know if I use them, bro. Cadbury yeah, chocolate, so nah, fam, and team people. Yeah, nah, I don't use that shit, fam. Well, like that's what it is, and then team. Why is Team View? Oh, uh, I think it's like some. So if I wanna, like, I think it's it's a computer thing. So okay. if I have access to your computer, I think mm. you download Team View or something like that, and 
like I go on, I can access your computer through the app or some, some next, some next thing like that. Bro. No. But yeah, no. Nah, hell no, bro. And especially links to Man United. Hell no, bro. Yeah, I'm not stopping buying Adidas. I'm just saying that in it. Like Adidas is not funding um Manchester United. Stuart B, don't incriminate yourself like that, but shout me if that is the case. Hey J um, J Reds, J Reds. Okay, <laughs> okay. If you believe, I want you to say FSG in though, if you still believe, right? If you believe they're the people to get it done, J Reds, say FSG in. Mm -hmm. Say it for the people. Oh yeah. my days. But I'm just saying, like, in regards to Adidas and Cadbury, yeah, I, I I'm not gonna stop eating chocolate. I'm just pointing that out there. Like, no, it's not happening. Hey, are Man United even sponsored by Cadbury? Though? I don't even thing? know. Are we linked? I don't know. Even whether we are not, I don't think me buying a dairy milk, a pound, it's a pound 25. Liberty it used to be one pound. Buying that one pound 25 big dairy milk while it's funding the Glazers. Sorry. I, think, I don't think it is. That's probably why Luke Shaw is still fat, fam. That's probably your eye, bro. Man said the top <laughs> by Cadbury. What's going on, fam? <laughs> <laughs> crazy <laughs> it's crazy out here bro it's crazy yeah Andy um, you already know I've not had a flake in a minute but yeah Cadbury's and, and Adidas is too like they're too um, with the companies yeah they're too their products are too good I, all I buy is Adidas kicks just plain black Adidas shell toes you know what I'm saying cheap I can get them calm easy to clean look good with anything works you know what I'm saying? I was like yo like simplicity the more black Adidas kicks are the ones, but hey, we move. Uh, with the knee yeah. joints, the the Yeezys. Those are the, oh, you got the Yeezys. Yeah, I got Yeezys, isn't it? But, okay. Uh, yeah, like I only I only shop Adidas for for football beats. Like I'm a Nike man, isn't it? Ah, first, first. You know what I'm saying? You like keep this rolling. One sec. But yeah, fam. What's the chat saying? What's the chat saying? Takeover sitting. No, nah, they happy. They happy. Bro. Hey, Stuart, Stuart. Man said you get a hey, bro. That can't be real, man. That's killing me. Man said the back of a lorry. That is fucking funny. I see Jay ain't say it. So I stand. I stay on mine. Jay, I told Jay, say FSG. If it's good enough for you, Jay, say it then, Brody. Don't worry about it. We got what we got. Yeah, you're right. But say, say it, say it then. If if how they spend money is what you're trying to see, say FSG in for the people one time, man. You know, like that. Hey, people, get the likes up as well. Get the likes up, man, bro. It's like, it's like almost two a.m. I appreciate everyone in the chat, man. Get the likes. Big up. facts. Big facts. I want to see this channel grow, man. A question in the chat though. X Halene. I can't put it up on the screen in it, but. You think this can be a negotiation? Yeah, negotiation tactic. It could be. Like when I first saw the news in it, I thought that it could have been negotiation tactics. That's mm. what I initially thought because, bro, it just makes sense. Like it's gonna force the Glazers to to ask for less for ask for less money. Like the way I see it in it. And just and just to clarify to um. To just to come jump back in because Eddie asked Jay Reds about FSG. I don't think he's ever, he said he's clopping and clop we trust. So I think he's FSG out. Yeah, he, he he knows that guy. He I knows. think I, I think he's I could be wrong. Jay Reds, let us know if you are. I presume you are because I've not met a Liverpool fan who is FSG in. I'm genuinely asking. Um, but yeah, sorry, Nero, go on, carry on. Yeah, I was just replying to one of the chats. Um, yeah, yeah, flow is yours, man. It can it can be a negotiation tactic, like oh no, no that's a it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. It's it, but, but that's just bargaining like I, do i think so probably not man probably yeah, not. yeah. actually it would be very, to... and if what? you look like from a business standpoint it's like they're gonna force this they're gonna force mayhem bro mm. like, they're gonna force something to happen and i think i saw i can't remember don't quote me on the source but like a few months ago i saw something like it said um, if the Glazers don't sell, they know that this is coming. Like they know protests are coming, so I think they're expecting it. So if she, that means she just seen knew that that could be a possibility, so it's probably leveraging on that, hoping that it could could work out. But who knows, man? I hope it does. Hope it does, man. 
Yeah, man. And in regards to this, and um, to Jay Reds, who said it's always effort. I've just not seen you in a minute, so that's why I didn't know about you being. Nah, here's what. So here's the here's the crazy part. Then he just disagreeing with me just to disagree because I practically I said FSG haven't done enough to challenge City. Oh, I agree with that. I think every Liverpool fan's in agreement with that. Liverpool, you know if, 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 if FSG would have if FSG would have done more, they definitely would have an extra Premier League and probably an extra champs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why. That's, that's what I would say. That's all I've been so. saying. That's all I've been saying, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. All FSG I've... have definitely not done enough at Liverpool to push Manchester City. I agree with that. How I, agree I know. With that. Y'all know how I know? One. Because, bro, being in the States, like, I know how these dudes own other clubs. Mm. I know how they mm. operate with other clubs. Like, the thing with FSG and their like is, yo, all they have to do is see one trophy and they feel like they've done enough. And they're good. Is and that they're, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they have to do is be competitive and they think they've done enough. Mm. It's not. Yeah. It's not like, again, it's not like their aim is to dominate. Their aim mm. is to be because they're American business owners, right? So what happens is, like I told you, it's about sports entertainment. As long as they see people going through them turntables, they could care less about what is actually going on. Like, mm. there are some owners in America where it's like, yo, I need to dominate. You feel me? Like, mm. I need to do and everything I do, I need to dominate, like with the Warriors. Yeah, you're looking for domination. Warriors, yeah, yeah. They used to. They they're from L.A. Them owners are from L.A. Mm. So what happens is they saw how the Lakers used to do their thing. We had a we had an owner named Jerry Buss, mm. who from like the '80s to the 2000s won the most trophy, was the most championships in the NBA. Go you. They were good friends with him. They mm. took that style. They took how much investment means. And went to go d- implement that with the Warriors. And now look at the Warriors. Four, four or five titles in like however many years they've been around. Yeah. They're like five and eight, five and nine, something crazy like yeah. that. Something crazy. Something nuts. That's all something I'm crazy. saying. Like, I, I know these American, I know, I know American owners, like that's they just happy with, with what they can get away with. Hmm. That's it. No, I um to Jesse says, who do y'all think Jasim would buy? I mean, the options are there. Liverpool are obviously an option. Spurs are definitely an option. Um, yeah. Someone mentioned Everton. They're definitely an option as well. Bro. Those Everton. things stick out. That's a shout, you know, because they're getting Everton a new... option. Yeah, Everton are definitely an option. I think... Yeah, but I think Tottenham. Tottenham would be a shout. Tottenham, I, I, if they're going to... As long as it's not Liverpool. If it's, if, it's, if it's Everton, that'd be great. If it's Spurs, that'd be great. Like I say, just to see the misery of, of Liverpool and Arsenal, respectively, if that does indeed happen. But Liverpool are also an option in, in, in that case. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else. Leeds, if they were in the Premier League, would be an option. Definitely. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. I think that's imagine, it in regards to the Premier League. Imagine he bought Nice or something. Imagine that. <laughs> he ain't buying me. That would be funny, though. That, that would be funny. I'm big up to um, Ed who says, how's Tarza doing? He's going to need a wellness check. I know bro going through a lot tonight. I only seen him briefly in the group chat. Um, he's not good. That's to be expected. Also, on top of that, obviously, uh, Pakistan got battered by India in the Cricket World Cup. So he was oh, already pissed off yeah, about that. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got smoked because even Ryan was messaging me and he was like, yeah, we got absolutely, we got murdered by these lot. So, yeah, um, Taza is not good, but Taza will be, you'll see Taza at some point. It'll pop up in the chat or pop up on um, a stream because there won't be a Q&A tomorrow, but I move, I, move, I move for tonight. This was supposed to be United Chelsea Spurs show. And then I was like, you know what? It's going to be United only. So I was like, all right, and then we'll get to that tomorrow. So you'll see Surfer. And Jez, they'll be on there tomorrow. But this is with Manchester United, you never know. From now up until tomorrow, there could be some there could be some new news. You never know. Oh, yeah, Ed, I'm with you. Like, I don't want Leeds to go out of business. I just need them in like League Two or something. Like, that's what I need. I don't need them out of business. That's a bit too much. Like, I want them to exist to laugh at. I don't want them to cease to exist. What's your what's I, your beat? What's my say again? What's your beef with Leeds? Oh, it's um that's a city rivalry. Um you probably did it in school. War of the Roses. You never did War of the Roses in history. Nah. Oh, see, but yeah, all you have to do is type in Google, uh, type in War of the Roses. It's like Lancashire versus Yorkshire, in it. Red Rose versus White Rose. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. And obviously, dead Yorkshire. We Lancashire. So we just really don't like each other. Like when I say this goes back, this is like Henry the Eighth times. Like it oh. goes back to that. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Is that to Thank do with you. the rose is on the jersey of the Man United kit? Absolutely. That's why oh. they have a white rose. We have a red rose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly that. And this goes oh. deep. Like a lot, of, a lot of the United like um, rivalry goes much more than football. Like the football's added onto it. Like United Liverpool, that's a city rivalry. Yeah. Like that stems back from the what was it? I think it's the Liverpool. What's it called? The Liverpool, the Liverpool dock, and like the Manchester United and the Manchester Canal, they were taking work off each other. You know what awesome. I'm saying? Like years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Great. then that's where it came from. How far is Liverpool from Manchester? Oh, it's down the road, from. You can get there and you can drive there in like 40 minutes. 30 oh. minutes if you really put your foot down. Yeah, yeah, they down the road. Oh. When I say they down the road, down, like you can get a train there in 50 minutes. That's it. I yeah. never... That's... Round... Oh, I'm... Say that again. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Like down the road. Like, yeah, Kaneki said it. Yeah, industrial revolution. Like I said, I wish there was someone here older than me because they'll be able to tell it like, better than I can. Like my pops, uncles and that, like they'll be able to tell it better than I can. But yeah, that's the beef for Leeds. So yeah, fuck Leeds. I'm glad they're in the championship. Keep them there. Nice. But they are sleeping giant. They Wait, are sleeping giant. To, to Jay Reds in the chat here, he said, how old is Nero? Listen, I'm old enough to, to have an opinion on Man United. That's what yeah, I said. Man, young G, man. That's what I'm saying. We don't we don't age discriminate here. There's no discrimination. You know what I'm saying? No di no discrimination whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just going to have someone on here because they're, cause they're young. Right? Nah. I'm saying, same way I'll have someone on here who's Andy Tate, who's older than me. I'm saying. Like Andy Tate, like, you tell you stuff in, in the 80s, you know what I'm saying, about United and stuff like that. They tell you about winning the Cup when it's Cup in 90. Like, that's even before my time. Is that um, uh, Moisey? Is that, yeah, is man, that... yeah, Andy Tate. Yeah, 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 Moisey. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> legend. He's a legend. He is, man. That's my guy, man. Shout out Andy Tate. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of this guy talking rubbish in the chat as well. But yeah, Andy Tate's my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. I'm saying... Hundred percent, yeah, 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 hundred percent. He needs to get back to um, he's busy at the moment, but he needs to get back to streaming on a regular basis, man. He really does. He's missed. He is. But anyways, we're gonna close out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, of course, Jay. But if you don't, yeah, but if you don't know, you don't know. Like I said, I don't know the full works in regards to United Leeds thing. I know about it to an extent, but there's people like Kaneki even mentioned it. He'll know more about it than me. Same way with the United Liverpool thing. That's just with age. Yeah, man, all a part of the master plan, won't it? Shout out Andy Tate, man. That, that clip is brilliant, yo. That <laughs> clip is brilliant. It is, it is brilliant. Charge. Yeah, man, title charge. You know, catch him. Need to, I say he needs to get him back on the Unfiltered podcast, man, which will be on tomorrow. Um, but we are going to close out, people. Right, over 154 likes. Big up to all you crooks, because I know you're only here because of this news, because if there was no, if this was a regular show and there was no no ownership news the vast majority of you lot wouldn't be um wouldn't be here but yeah bump up the likes hit the subscribe button as well make sure you subscribe to nero's channel nero knows ball the link is in the title big on my guy eddie every single time as well nero let him know what you got coming up where he can find you all that good stuff okay yeah um first of all yeah make sure you hit the likes as well man hit them likes or hit them likes smash it up in it but yeah Obviously, in the title, Nero knows ball. Um, yeah, that like, content will come soon. Content will come soon. I'm just, I'm mad lazy, bro. I'm mad lazy. I, I'll be real. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any excuses in it. I'm say how it is. I respect it. honesty. I respect and, honesty. <laughs> can't lie to you. But you know, it's I just don't know what to upload. I just don't know. See, so that means that. So that means you're just in the in the idea process. Yeah. That's what it is. That's just you. you know, that, it's not you being lazy. You're in the ideas process. These things but, take time, man. You know, yeah. Take your time. I'm definitely gonna start live. Like lives, I want to do live streams because it's just like no editing. I just turn on the camera and talking. Yeah. So go through right. the. But yeah, man, we loading, man. Big up to you, flawless. Of course, big up to Eddie as well. Thank you for having me on here. Big up to the chat as well as always, man. Appreciate this this community. Yeah, man, you already know the pattern. Shout out to Jacob as well. I forgot to mention it. You did raid. Make sure you subscribe to United Spurs of America. Big up my guy Jacob every single time. Don't forget, people, this show and all the shows on the channel are available on audio-only platforms. I dropped the link in the chat, both links in the chat. The links are underneath in the description, people. So if you want to listen to this in audio-only platform, 
SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you listen to podcasts, type in Sarcasm City TV and this show and all the other shows on the YouTube channel, apart from Watch Alongs, will pop up. So if you want to listen while you're cooking, while you're cleaning, while you're driving, while you're at work, maybe on your way to work, at the gym, you might just not want to have YouTube app sucking up all your data. You may just, you know, prefer to listen to podcasts in audio only form. That's fine, people. So SoundCloud, please hit us with the follow. Sarcasm City TV on SoundCloud. Hit us with the follow there. Spotify, all you Android users who be listening to music on there, listen to podcasts on there, follow us and five star us on Spotify. Also, Sarcasm City TV. And all you iPhone users, all you iPhone users, make sure you go to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, five star us and leave us a review on there as well, people. Um, and yeah, man, you lot saying it in the chat, bro, still figuring out it's calm, big up Nero. Yeah, man, you lot know the pattern. Like nah. Nero next up when he's ready. You know what I'm saying? Like he did the, whenever he's ready. And Nero already knows he can invite me. Like if when he invites me, I'm there. He already knows the pattern. He spoke about that. Mm. He knows. Um, Eddie, anything you want to add, fam, before we close out? Yeah, man. Uh again, people, this is my villain arc. You feel me? So I'll be there for the most miserable moments of the rivals, and I'll be there with my pom poms in hand cheering it on. But uh Always, always flawless. Appreciate you, my broski. Always having this dope platform. Know, to the man. chat, appreciate y'all for the engagement. J Red, y'all, you know it's all love. Uh, C Yak, it's it's all love. Shout out to my Canyon brother, and um, yeah, man, y'all, y'all just keep on supporting this basketball coming soon here too. So, um, yes, at least I have that to take my mind away, you know. So. Thankfully. Yeah, man. Thankfully. And big up to Andy MU for the super sticker. Much appreciated. He just says, thank you. You lot continue to support, man. We here, man. Win, lose, or draw. Or in United's case, lose, draw, or lose. We're always here, people. You know what I'm saying? We're always here. Even taking losses when we ain't even playing. International break, and we still taking else. But we're here regardless. So big up for the super chat. Much appreciated. Glad you enjoyed the show. Glad everyone else enjoyed the show. Eddie mentioned it. The Sarcasm City TV kick people because he mentioned NBA. Don't forget to follow us on kick. Sarcasm City TV. Download the kick app for free. Sign up for free. The same way you watch and comment on YouTube is the exact same on kick. Kick. So wherever you get your apps, whether you're Android, whether you're iPhone user, we've got NBA content over there. NFL content over there. Champions League, non-Manchester United Champions League games, non-Manchester United Premier League games, non-Manchester United Carabao Cup and FA Cup games over there, F1 content over there, Formula One, uh, boxing content, that is also over there as well. NFL, like I said, every Monday. It's ready for now. Oh, you got another that's legit. that too. Yeah, I'm going to get to that as well. Yeah. Um, I think shout that's out it. Ed and shout out Highbury. Shout out Ed and Highbury. I see you on the chat. Glad you up, man. Uh, uh, today, the darkest day. Big up to Stephen for the super chat. Says, today, the darkest day for United. The Glazers and Ratcliffe are a disgrace. Anyone, <laughs> you put anyone in capital letters, who gives the club money now is a disgrace. Get used to mid-table now. I hear you, Stephen, in regards to very dark day. Darkest day, 100%. Um, Glazers and Ratcliffe are a disgrace. Totally agree with that. Anyone who gives the money, uh, gives the club money now is a disgrace. Either or in it. Like I said, I don't... <laughs> We just don't have a leader. It moves and get used to mid table now. Hey, bring me if it's mid table, bring me relegation. I'll enjoy the championship. I mean, deadly serious. At least we'll win more games than we lose down there. Bring me the championship, man. Bring me away days to Preston. What are you saying, uh, Nero? You're not with it. We, we want to go uh, championship unbeaten. I don't think so. No, nah, not unbeaten, but we win more than we lose. Yeah, of course, yeah, man. Fun down there. And you know what? It would actually, it would, you know what it would it would do? And this is completely selfish. We doubt all the fans who are not real fans. Watch yeah. how many people watch how many people stop commenting on Manchester United. Watch how certain content creators stop making content if Manchester United go to the championship. Because we in League Two, I'm here. Because I'm United through and through. Never get it mistaken, people. United through and through. Doesn't matter if it's Premier League, Championship, Conference North, in the St. Johnston Paints Trophy. I am here. And I will do watch-alongs for that shit. Never get it mistaken. I will find links and do what has to be done. Um, so, yeah. Well, we'll see. But, Stephen, big up for the super chat. Sheik, good to see you in the chat as well, man. Every single time. Jay Red says, big up the guys, man. Quality content. Eddie Yard, you know what it is, my G. West Coast is the best coast. Salute, homie. Big Salute, up to Jay, Jay Red. Red. Salute, my boy. It is, man. Large up. And Warrior Jay asked in regards to what's the announcement. So I haven't set it up yet, but obviously I've been like 
it's mad that Nero mentioned thinking through ideas because I was trying to think on how to do it. So what I'm going to do is, obviously, you lot know I do the gaming, so like FIFA, etc., etc., GTA. I'm going to create YouTube channel, Sarcasm City TV Gaming, people. Sarcasm City TV Gaming. So it will run very much similar to Sarcasm City TV, but obviously on the gaming side of things. So there'll be a regular schedule. There'll be regular content. The new FIFA, EF, uh, EA FC 24, I'll be doing pro clubs on there. I'll be doing the career mode on there. GTA, I'll obviously run that. NBA 2K, even though I've never played it, you lot have been asking for it. So I'm going to sort that out as well. You can, I know you can link up your PS3 with the game capture card. Ahmed told me about that. So I'm going to run Fight Night Champion. I'm going to try and figure out a way how to run like Def Jam Fight for New York because it's just a classic game. So I need to get back on that. Um, Mario Kart. I'm going to try that as well because everyone plays Mario Kart. I might have mentioned it. I don't know how to, if that's even capable, but I'm going to try it. But yes, Sarcasm City TV Gaming, keep a lookout. I'll probably launch the channel in the next few days. You know what I'm saying definitely by the end of next week. So as soon as it's launched, you lot will know. And I just need you lot to subscribe and support Sarcasm City TV Gaming the same way you support Sarcasm City TV. But Sarcasm City TV will still run the exact same as it has been. Now it's just going to be a second channel. That's all it is exclusively for gaming because it is something you lot ask about. Anytime I mention it, the chat always goes nuts in regards to always get questions about it. So I'm going to do that. And you lot already know we've done it on the Twitch. We've done certain streams on here. So I was like, all right, it's time to tap in and do the gaming properly. So that's what you'll get. Like I said, FIFA, yeah. EA, FC 24, Pro Clubs, Career Mode, GTA. They'll be the first things you get. Like I've legit, I was legit yesterday. I was making the thumbnails for it yesterday and patterning it up. Yeah, go on. What are you saying, um, Nero? What, you've never played NBA 2K? No way. Nah, never played it. Bro, never played you... it. Bro, it's better than pro clubs. I'm never actually... played it. <laughs> never played it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people, and obviously, I know Eddie's played it. And then, like I said, when I mentioned it, people have mentioned, like, uh, the park. Like, Tom Little said it to me, like, yeah. oh, you're going to run that. So I'm going to do that as well. And any other suggestions you, like, have for games I run, even if it's a game I've not played? Unless I absolutely despise the game, then that's it. So you're going to get regular. But I'm going to set that up. Big up to Andy MU, who gifted um, one member, gifted um, a Sarcasm City TV membership to one person. Big up to you as well, man. Much appreciated, man. Link for the membership is in the pinned comment. Warrior J says career mode, I'll be there. I bet you will. Because everyone's seen all these content creators get moved to. We watched Lewis get destroyed the, the other day. Man lost, what, 7-3 to, to Luton? You know what I'm saying? Man hey. lost like, yeah, man got moved to by Bournemouth. Like 4-0. Ahmed out here restarting matches. You know what I'm saying? And that. Shout out, Ahmed, we see you, you crook. No you know way. what I'm saying? There's yeah. no Go, go was... check his stream. Yeah, I'm man, a... he's restarting matches. I'm going to see that now. Bro. The Bridge 258, man, go check that out, man. The stream's still there. Them man have got the screenshots and that. You know what I'm saying? Man, re... man was doing hella talking, hella woofing. Oh, I'm going to do Wait. this, that, and the third, bring titles back to Chelsea. And the man was out here losing. 3-0 he... down inside 10 minutes to Real Sociedad and that. Restarting did... games. Did he do it discreetly? Like, did he think people weren't watching? Nah, nah, he knew he, he was on the live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had his big face on the live. You know what I'm saying? It was like, nah, I'm restarting it. Yeah, yeah, go check it out. At least Lewis firmed it. Lewis was like, yo, I'm just going to lose. No restarting. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's what it is. So, yeah, Sarcasm City TV gaming people. I've just, like Nero mentioned in, in regards to um trying to think of content. I was just figuring out how to do it, when to launch it when I'm going to run it, etc., and trying to figure out our, our regular schedule. Of course, it will change in regards to Mondays if there's a Premier League game, Tuesdays and Wednesdays because of Champions League games as well. But I do, I'm do. i definitely going to at least two, three lives on Sarcasm City TV game in a week, at least, bare minimum. And now, yeah, that being said, even though there'll be a regular pro clubs for like all the OGs, I'm going to do pro clubs for the members as well. Obviously, Nero's in that chat. They know, so there'll be that as well. So I'll have two pro clubs teams. One is Sarcasm City OGs and then one Sarcasm City members, but I need a better name than Sarcasm City members for it. But yeah, the link for the membership is in, uh, for that is in the pinned comment. Flawless, are you mad confident? Are you good at it? I've not played FIFA properly in time because I only play pro clubs. So I'm going to get back up to speed, but no quitting. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you this much, I'll be better than Ahmed. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be bad. I'll be bad. We might need to have attorney just to see what I go on with everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to do head to heads 100%. Yeah. We're definitely going to do that because I know Hassam's on there, the joke, man. So me and Hassam are going to run that as well. In regards to the pro clubs, I know shout out to um, Sadiq Worldwide Chelsea. I know they're on there as well. So, yeah, we're going to run it. And DMU, the membership group 
is on Instagram. So just all you have to do is just follow at Sarcasm City TV on Instagram. That's for any members and I'll add you to the group. I'll add you to the group. Uh, last question, your reaction to the Lewis stream. A1 content. He needs to do more FIFA content because that shit had me rolling. Man was there in the suit. I'm saying, man had the blazer on with the shirt. I was saying, like talking about just trust the process. <laughs> man got packed. Oh, he got packed. Yeah, same way Saeed, he got beat as well. But yeah, I'm going to run it, people. I won't run um, Ultimate. I do the level below, which is legendary, I believe. So I run legendary. And big up to Andy as well. You just gifted. Is that from Buffalo? Let me have a look. Yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Andy again, though, for gifting that membership to whoever, whoever got it. Make sure you big up Andy. But yeah, man. Eddie, anything else you want to add before we do? Nah, man, all up? good. All good, broski. You yeah. already know what it is. Love that. Nero again. Anything you, you know what I'm saying, may want to add on to what you've already said? No, I've said my piece in it. Yeah, man. Oh, Love that. So, yeah, people, like I said, keep a lookout for the Sarcasm City TV gaming YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Just need you lot to subscribe. Get that monetized expeditiously. I will be doing it in regards to having the camera on as well. So, how you seen how Lewis had his, how Ahmed has, has had his as well. I'm going to do the same. So, the game will be on. And I do, I'll have the camera on as well. So you lot can see the reactions and all them things there. But love to everyone that's locked in. We're back tomorrow. Uh, Manchester United Chelsea Spurs show. It was supposed to be today. So myself, Surfer and Jez talking all things United, all things Chelsea, all things Spurs. Let me get back to this. Steven says, uh, Flawless, I'm trying to DM you on Twitter. Got the opinion and thoughts of a thousand people fan group in the US. Let me know how to contact you. Big up. What's your at, Stephen? Are you trying to contact me in regards to that? Just, um, yo, just email me. The email's in the bio. Just email me because I close my DMs unless I follow you. So that's what it is. All right. So, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But big up for the super chat. Appreciate it. But, yeah. Then in regards to being in that 1,000 people fan group, I'm good on that. Like, talking about Manchester United is bad enough on here. Uh, it is detrimental to my... To nah, my, I think he said he, I think he's saying he's part of a fan group and he wanted to kind oh. of switch there. There is hey. too. Oh, is it? Oh, well, Stephen. Um, Colin the calling show. show. Yeah, the calling show is Monday, 10 p.m. UK time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just send me an email and we'll, we'll pattern it. That's to anyone. Contact Mr. Take Note at gmail.com. It's in my Twitter bio, it's in my um in my Instagram bio, and then you can contact Sarcasm City TV. So there's ways to get at me. I just closed the DMs because I was just getting some foolishness in my DMs at times. But yeah, man, love to everyone who has locked in. Big up to you lot, Stephen. Again, big up for the super chat. Um, and big up to everyone who hit, who came for the tears as well, you jokers. But this has been the Man of United podcast live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in.